Alright, today I'm going to be showing you like a review on Xcode for the Mac. You can get it in the Mac App Store right now for $4.99. If you are a developer, you can you can already go to the developer site and download it. But it's right here. It's $4.99. So you can make your own apps. You can do all this. Have it to where you can make your apps. Load it onto your iPod. Debug it. Do all this other stuff. You can actually make some apps. It's actually going to be pretty cool. Um, You just have to know how to do this um, I'll actually show you Xcode right now I'll put this down because I already have it it's right here so don't forget to subscribe to me on YouTube and I will be doing a vocal live show tomorrow so watch me on vocal you can see I'm making my YouTube app right now I'm in the process of making it so you would create a project and just work on it and then just this stuff, this is how it'd come up. You got your logo, your information, what device you want it, if you want it universal or iPad, there's that, what software you want it to run on. Mine's gonna be on 4.3 because I have my devices on 4.3 already. Besides my iPhone, I didn't want to update because uh, I already broke my iPhone before. So you can add your icons here, you can add your launch image, like if you know um I think there's Soldier Knows Best out there has his app and when you click on his app it comes up it has his app icon and then says Soldier Knows Best the app and then it has that loading screen so I'm gonna probably make one get that up there um then you have to go to iOS target stuff you just have to go through a lot a lot of process to do all this to have this done um and you would have to go in here default there's my logo I would probably have you have your icon you have it for the iPad so it's where you would choose what do you want file own or first response supported files like all this stuff like how much is it gonna be after a while you're gonna wanna put a price some people might do free apps if it's for their YouTube channel um there's a whole bunch of stuff that you can do you also have this which I will show you if you hit the run button after you get some of the app up there hit the run button and then iOS simulator will come up show you your iPhone 4 it's gonna take a second let me show you what the loading screen is this is as far as I've gotten so far um, I'm gonna work on it I haven't got too too far but like you can do this you can see my icon I already made it right there um, you can go in Safari. You can do a whole bunch of stuff with this. You can also come up to here, pick hardware. You pick iPad or iPhone right now. It's pretty big, so click on it. You can scroll and do stuff. But I like the um, just the regular iPhone. The iPad looks cool. I'll show you that too. Here's the iPad. It's not too big, but it's pretty cool. Um, if you hit command left, you'll turn it left, and then right, and all this other stuff. So let's click on it and turn it this way. And you want to make it big. So we'll have to do it this way. See, nothing comes up because I haven't done it for iPad. And there's this other one that I was working on. Got that far, just haven't done too much. But I will be working on this probably the entire summer, having it out by the end of the summer hopefully um you can also put version what do you want 3.2 I iOS 4.0.2 4.1 4.2 or 4.3 you can rotate it home lock see there's the lock screen you can slide to unlock so it's pretty cool um you can do TV out to put it to your TV you can have it to where you're calling somebody up there you just have to go through debugging and a lot of stuff. You can do a whole bunch. You can shake. You can rotate. You can do a whole bunch of stuff. So, um, and then you can open printer simulator. Which I haven't looked at this right now. It's just telling you what you've done on the device. Um, you can go into edit. You can copy and paste stuff. Windows, you can 
just like change the scale of it and if you need help go to iOS simulator help it's right there so let's do this do so there it is there so I can make it look and you get pictures on here this is from random pictures I don't know why you just get some random pictures You can do all this, you can change stuff. If you go into settings, watch. Let me click do. I'm on a general about say be on iOS 4.3. Touch it. It says capacity 465 gigs, available 118. That's for my computer. There's 15 photos, two applications and stuff. See all the legal crap. You can even go to keyboard, change it up. change up all that you can also go to change it if you want calendar whatever Japanese and accessibilities you can go to you can turn that off which I don't like on there you can go to Safari pick what you want developer there you go debug you can debug your console it will automatically appear to help resolve web page errors so if you go do do there you go multitasking's on there so you can play music and stuff so you can also do that you have your contacts that I guess comes on your phone so I need to support URL so let's go over here let's, you could probably like, you can do jailbreak me it says your firmware is too new so if you go over to here what does it say? Oh, it only does four. You can go to 3.2. Let's see if you can do it simile. Let's go. You. Let's see if you can do jailbreak me. So there you go. Slide to jailbreak. Oops. So you can slide to jailbreak, but it won't do anything. It'll just kick you back to the home. So that's what sucks about this. So that's what the new Xcode is. You can buy it off the App Store. Apple did a great job releasing that as soon as iOS 4.3 came out. Um, there's a lot of other stuff that's out there. You can also create your apps put it up there I know a lot of people are gonna be happy who own Macs you're gonna wanna download this try to make an app post it like you can make Angry Birds you can make a lot of other applications out there there's a whole bunch of stuff out there and that's really about it